the day I kind of needed to meal prep for myself so I thought why not do a video of it excuse the mess and no I don't have no makeup on today I got a massage today a deep tissue massage and my muscles feel like heaven <laughs> they do so I went to Walmart I got me some stuff because like I said I really needed to meal prep and I didn't have anything to meal prep so I had to go get some stuff also you are probably thinking oh I wonder what the meal prep is gonna be it's probably gonna be something cool and amazing no it's simple. I'm a simple girl. I don't like a lot of uh, different variety things. Uh, I'm pretty limited on what I like. So yes, this is going to be a simple, just grilled chicken. We're going to have uh, whole green beans and brown rice as a side with a touch of little spices on all of them. So if you want to watch me meal prep and see how I do it, continue watching. So we have the grill going outside. We are going to go ahead and get our chicken breasts. Now, I went ahead and got the trim and ready because I have a problem with a bunch of fat and like weird things on my food. So if I see it, I just get turned off and like I don't want it. Why do we need a cutting board? Because it's already trimmed. Well, these are like huge pieces and since I am meal prepping, I want to make them a little bit smaller. I feel like I'm doing one of those, um, like the Food Network like uh, cooking shows, that's what I feel like. I'm like, I get it, cooking. I'm probably gonna talk, cut my finger off, so I better stop talking. Coming. make some just for tomorrow but because it comes in these little packets um, I'm just basically gonna make them as is I already have I have another deal of these so I'll technically have four of these uh, but only about one more just to get me through uh, this next week I shall see in the end the, the containers that I'm using um, I'm basically going to put this like put the rice in one container put the chicken in one container and the green beans in one container. Normally I don't do that. Normally I'd go ahead and measure everything out and make me uh, individual like Monday through Friday. But because I am carb cycling, my carbs change day to day. So it's really easy for me to, uh, you know, measure out how many carbs I need for lunch on low carb days and high carb days and Usually when I'm doing a low carb day, I will have more veggies, so it's just easier just to do that. So we have the green beans on the stove, we have the chicken uh, on the grill, and later I'm going to heat these up because it only takes like 60 seconds. And they're so good. Uh, so yeah, so another thing, I picked the absolute worst day to grill because it's like 90 here in Florida. and. Uh, it's like 2.30, something like that. I can't remember what time it is. But, yeah, so I'm like burning up outside cooking this chicken. So, I sat here and was talking to you like it was recording and it was not. So, what I said is I normally meal prep. Uh, the past couple of weeks, three or four weeks, I have not. I just kind of got out of the routine. Um, and once you get out of the routine, you kind of, you know, it's hard to get back into it. So I'm trying to get back into it because when you do meal prep, you do stay on track. It's a lot easier to stay on track because when lunchtime or whatever you've uh, meal prepped, some people I know meal prep uh, breakfast to dinner. Uh, I usually only meal prep uh, lunch. I am telling you, if, if you start meal prepping your lunches, 
uh, no matter if you work, you know, when lunchtime comes, you don't even have to think about it. You're just like, this is what I'm having. But the, the key thing is to meal prepping is to find something that you really, really like. Uh, you know, eating chicken breast all the time gets really boring. Uh, eating fish all the time gets boring to most people. You know, you have to change it up. When I first started meal prepping, of course, I was like, oh, I guess, you know, I'm just going to have uh, turkey breast. Turkey breast, I need some carbs, and I need a vegetable. That's the three key ingredients to meal prepping. I always had rice, a green vegetable, and chicken breast. Like today, that is what I'm meal prepping today. But at the very beginning, like I just kind of like seasoned it with the same seasoning every time I fixed it, and it got old. I was like, all right. Like I would come home after my workout, and it would be lunchtime, and I would not want to eat. I was like, oh, like this again. I can't. I can't eat it. I cannot force myself to eat it. You really have to change it up and get. Um, get the different spices. Now, you only can go so far with different spices. Um, I've learned the sun's really bright. That's why my face just lit up. <laughs> um, I've learned that, you know, different spices does change it up. Spices only go so far. You have to get really creative. Um, I've got on Pinterest a lot, found a lot of recipes that I've done. Just like this br brown rice. Um, you know, this brown rice is actually really good. You just pop it in the microwave, you come out, and you can eat it. I can eat it like this. Like, I think it tastes really, really good. But, I don't want to eat regular brown rice every time I eat brown rice. So, this time, when we make it, I'm going to, um, season it a little bit. Put a little lime juice in there and, uh, some little lime, uh, zest in there just to change it up a little bit. Vegetables, of course, I told you that we are having green beans. You did notice that they were frozen. If you're eating vegetables, your best bet is to uh, go for fresh first. Fresh vegetables are the best vegetables you can get for yourself. The second, if you can't find fresh vegetables, then you want to go to frozen vegetables. Um, the very last thing that you want to buy um, for your vegetables and how it's packaged is canned vegetables. Canned vegetables are loaded with usually sugar and salt. The sodium in these things are outrageous and the reason why is because they have to put sodium in here to preserve it for you know like shelf life. Canned vegetables are made to last for a really really long time so they have to put extra things in there to preserve it and all of those things to preserve it are not good for us. I, I mean, they are good for us, but if you're trying to watch your sodium, this is not the best thing to do. Uh, fresh vegetables are, you know, they're fresh vegetables. There's no salt, there's no pepperoni or anything like that. You're able to watch what you're putting onto your vegetables and how much sodium you're getting. If you are not a meal prepper person and you are trying to diet and watch what you eat, I am telling you, it is the easiest way to stay on track. No matter if you're trying to ca uh, track calories or macros. If you are wondering what kind of containers I use, I used to use Ziploc uh, containers. I mean, you can find really good containers at Walmart or uh, I really like the ones where you snap the the tabs on the top or whatever on the lid but because my mother loves me so much she used to sell Tupperware she stocked up on Tupperware because she sold it so much so I use Tupperware uh, for my things I have a crap load of them in the cabinet so that's what we use I love these things so I was gonna show you I just opened this up I wanted to show you uh, what it looks like and we're going to put it in the microwave for 60 seconds. Alright, so now that everything is cooked, I took the green beans out and I uh, drained them. I have packaged up the chicken and put it in its little container. Um, and we have all the rice cooked and cooling off just a little bit.
and I have lunch for the next, like, I would say four or five days. I don't remember how much it cost me, but this doesn't cost very much to do this. Uh, they always say that it is, it's cheaper to meal prep, uh, depending on kind of what you're prepping. Fish, of course, is a little expensive. It keeps you on track if you meal prep. Meal prep is just, it will save your life, it will save your diet, and it will save you time from spinning your wheels, trying to lose that weight, and having cheat meals, and going to McDonald's because it's quick and easy. Just meal prep. I promise you, it's not that hard. It's not that time consuming. Uh, most of the time, I usually meal prep on Sundays. But I will tell you, if you meal prep your meals, it will save your life. I promise. I mean, maybe not like, I don't know. It could like really save your life because when you meal prep, you meal prep healthy. And you are cutting down on sodium and all other kind of things that cause heart attacks. Yeah. So... If you like this video guys, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and be sure to follow me on my Instagram. I will catch you guys in the next video.